From the Golden Nugget in Atlantic City, New Jersey, this is Poker Night in America. Welcome to Poker Night in America. I'm your host, Chris Hansen. Park Place, Marvin Gardens, Pennsylvania Avenue. Anyone who's played the board game Monopoly knows these names, but some viewers may not know that they are based on street names found in Atlantic City. That is where we find ourselves tonight, being hosted by the Golden Nugget. And while our players are not playing for Monopoly money, they are still definitely trying to bankrupt each other. So let's pass go and collect $200 on our way to the felt. Well, as we continue day one here, the players bought in from between 5,000 and 20,000. And so far, our biggest winner of the day has been Jessica Dolly. And that money has come pretty much directly from Dan Shack as we head back to the table. Blinds are 25 and 50, and a lot of players taking advantage of the optional $100 straddle under the gun. Is straddling over here. The straddle would just get some That's excitement. It. Everyone is like tired. The lawyers are so aggressive. Lawyers. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a good coroner who just sits there. Sort of <laughs> <laughs> Jessica Dolly raises to 325 with suited king queen. Well, the bar is set very low for him being the liveliest person at the job every okay, day. Let's see right. if the straddle was good. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. It's a fine straddle. It's a fine straddle. What are we? 325. And Linda Kenny Bodden will call. I know Fred Allen is, yeah. The friendly coroner. Yeah. Fred, Fred Allen has, wasn't Fred Allen who had the greatest line about television? He called it chewing gum for the mind. Both Bodden and Dolly hit the king. That's before I got really good, which is now it has. Yeah. And a call from Dolly. The turn is a four of spades, so now Dolly picks up the flush draw. Kenny Bodden picks up a straight draw. They both check. And Jessica Dolly has the winner. All she needs to do is say, I call. And that's what she does. And Jessica Dolly will continue her winning ways here on Poker Night in America in Atlantic City. So Dan decided to straddle. Of course. We liked the result last time. What could time possibly go wrong? What could possibly happen that you flop the top card? <laughs> Christine Pilcher, who won her seat here on 888 Poker, will raise to 200 with ace 10. Wendy Eolis will call with ace queen. Dolly's on a rush. She might as well call with ace deuce. Roper calls. Man, this is starting to look like a cell phone commercial. We've got so many people calling. That's another buck 50. Let's keep that. Dan's praying that he has anything he can call with. Am I being punked? Everybody <laughs> on here. We actually made a side deal. We're going to chop your chips up later. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I hadn't done the loose, crazy phase of my attack on you all first, because now I can't raise here with this <laughs> I've got in my oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. I've got my hands so out. I just call and just hope to get I'm lucky. Sure he's call I just got to call that. and get lucky. <laughs> oh, I just got to call. I'll make a move. Maybe I'll make a move on the plot. Hold on. Let me try that. Seven players. That's so bad, I forgot what I had. And the case ace comes out on the flop. So Eolis, Filcher, and Dolly all hit the ace. Dolly hit two pair, but the winner in this whole transaction is Filcher because she flopped top two pair. I would expect a raise here from Jessica Dolly in the one seat. Raise. And she does just that to 1,700. 12 on top. Okay. So all in, all in. It's another 12 on top. It may be easy for me to say thanks. 
I thought when you put your Chanel sunglasses on, that was it. Huh? That was you put your Chanel sunglasses. <laughs> I have those too. Do you? So now we have sneakers and sunglasses to match. Yeah. All in. Twice. 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 What do you have? Two turns. I have an ace. I have an ace. I have two pair. I have two pair. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and now Pilcher makes the full house on the first turn. Nice so Jessica drawing dead. So the worst that Pilcher can do here is chop. I thought, I thought, how is it possible? Jessica doesn't have a set of juices. She doesn't have to worry too much. And things are getting very thin for Jessica Dolly. And Christine Pilcher turns ace 10 into a double up and a pot worth $8,300. by the sword. Nice hand. Thank you so much. We've got more as we continue the cash game here at Golden Nugget when we come back. Poker Night in America is being brought to you by 888poker.com, where the world plays online. Welcome back to the Golden Nugget in Atlantic City. Tonight's stop on Poker Night in America. The table seeming to warm up a little bit to one another as the chatter is on the entries. Let's see if that does the same thing with bet sizes as we continue. And um, I hope I show those. Um, and I needed to create an AOL Instant Messenger account. Yeah. So James Woods. She, with nines she, this time makes it 175. So it, the, the messenger account, I asked my assistant to do it for me and had something to do about the way that I love to drive Audi TT. And everybody kind of laughed at me because it was, looked, reminded them of like a little girl's uh, like instant messenger handle and just TT, my friends started teasing me and just stuck. Oh, that's cute, that's cute. Oh, oh ma'am, ma'am, your charger, oh, what the, the, uh, the, the uh, yeah, yeah but, okay, good. Ma'am, four players. I like that. Well, no, oh, come on. I, mean, I, was I was talking to you, by the way. <laughs> I thought you might be. Well, three sixes appear once again. This time it's Jamie Kerstetter who flopped trip sixes. You know, like, even if you, even if you bust, like, a good tournament or something, you still have, like, other possibilities, you know, whereas when you're, when you're playing Thanks, a lot of tournament, you know, you don't have any really Thank you, other, other possibilities. You know, you're just Talk about your big blind special. Is there an official yeah. etiquette you know, for calling yeah, someone like ma'am? So it's like, yeah. it's means everybody's yeah. against yeah. it. Yeah. 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 It's like, ma'am, it's like, I'm John. Like yeah. 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 Woods yeah. picks up a flush yeah. draw. Because yeah. yeah. growing up, it was a very nice thing to say. Now I think it's like, to kiss him call somebody ma'am, it's like our death now. Yeah. So we're not ma'am. Miss. Hello, ma'am. Well, if you say, excuse me, Jesus. miss, then it sounds like they're 15 yeah, a little bit. Yeah, so. okay. yeah but someone yeah. older that you call miss is very happy to be called, called miss. Yeah. You're on the flush <laughs> <road. Yeah. laughs> I get called <laughs> sir way too much right. now. I don't want to get called sir, sir so much, yeah. right? Yeah, like oh, I don't like sir. sir. Right. Sir is the same no, as ma'am. I don't like sir. 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 <laughs> and sir used to be very respectful. So ace tennis speech, you might call it an ace of speech. Woods thinking it over. Right. And as the right. famous right. saying goes, if you think long, you're probably thinking wrong. Okay, Queen. Go. And trip sixes will net Jamie Kerstetter 3200 bucks. Okay. Of course, on the other hand of that, if you think quick, you should probably leave the table because you're the worst player at the table. It doesn't rhyme, but it's also true. Oof, nice hand. So, and and I left my slow roll too. Sean, Sean, Sean slow roll Mike Mattis out, but everyone else at the table kind of knew that something was going on. The only one who didn't pick up on this was Mike, and he was trying to make it funny. Um, now, as someone who's been slow rolled by Sean countless times, <laughs> why? Because he loves me, so it makes sense, you know? It just didn't work. Apple, though, of intentions good, backfired. That's yeah, yeah, like just a call for 50. The, oh, oh, just, oh, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't hear, I sorry people just, in poker games like, are very revealing about their personalities as a whole. Like, it's a weird schedule. And that's, very, that's very astute. I agree. 225. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Back to Dan Chak with his queens. Whoops. Now we're going to 900. I was just about to say, why is this pot so small? <laughs> James Woods and his suited ace king. And Jessica Dolly's jacks are coming right behind that. Delicate spot here for Dolly. You are on the button, so you're gonna get to see what everyone does after the flop if you would call. If she decides to fold. Heads up. You don't wanna see. And of course, hindsight always 2020. That's a great fold by Jessica Dolly. Jack hits the queen, but Woods hits nothing. So let's see if he's gonna take a stab at this. It's fun flopping top set, isn't it? Listen, what'd you say? I said it's fun flopping top set, isn't it? And that's exactly what he did. Uh, I know what you got. I know what you got. Wow. That's oh, why wait. I, I turned my stand face up. There's more poker night in America when we come back. DraftKings, the official fantasy sports site of Poker Night in America. Thanks for returning to Poker Night in America. I'm your host, Chris Hansen. Let's get back to our cash game. That's great. But it's not just about being right or wrong. It's right. about being open to grow. Yeah, I, I, want, I want to evolve. Yeah, like I'm life is not worth living. You know, I don't have any they'll, deal. They'll, 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 they'll sponsor us. But then they should make should everyone them. take off their watches them, and right. everything else. Right, exactly. So you wanted me to hit a queen, huh? Who? Oh. Yeah, I wanted you to hit a queen. I don't think I was going to get any value from the bet there. Got a hundred dollar straddle from James Woods. That gets a call from Richard Roper. It gets a call from Kenny Bodden. And pocket nine showing up again tonight on Poker Night. Dan Shack will not be calling the hundred dollar straddle. He makes it five hundred. Action now on Jamie Kerstetter. She calls with Jax. Kerstetter, another one of those poker players that when you start asking her questions about her life away from the table, it really makes you realize that you are outgunned in so many different ways. Uh, Richard, Richard, Richard. You're the spoiler. Sorry. It's making a break for freedom. 400 more? Right, well, now we're talking. We got a $2,100 pot pre flop. Kerstetter's jacks are ahead, but Dan Shack has the flush draw. Jacks go to the muck. And Woods, once again, thinking it over, <laughs> decides to go all in. Two times? You're so far ahead, you have no idea. Uh, <laughs> You're so far. Uh, Can we run it 12 times? <laughs> <laughs> twice. Yeah, twice. Yeah, go ahead. He's on a flush. I don't think we're going to have enough right cards now. to run it 12 oh, really? times, James. Here we go. Going to run it twice. The first one goes to Dan Shack. And it looks like the second one is on its way to Dan Shack as well. And it is. I have two pair both times. Flush and two pit at full house. Oh. <laughs> wow. I trust me, I wouldn't have called if, you, if I hadn't bet so much in you. Well, it looks like James Woods is reloading as Sean Deeb stops by the table. Katie, did you know this? He lost his virginity anyway, with Ashley, you. his wife. That's so weird. That's who I lost mine to. 
uh, with Ashley. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. That is okay. not Fine. a conversation that I really hope my your wife and I have ever had. <laughs> Fantastic. Please bleep it all out. Uh, Sean Deeb shows up and things just fall off the rails. Imagine that. We're going to do some editing. Don't worry. She, she did not tell me anything about any of that. So I don't, I don't, want, you, I don't want you to think your wife is going she's around. Now she doesn't drink. She used to tell way too many details of her personal okay. life. She has not this told is a great, me anything This is the greatest like line that. of all time. Luckily, she's breastfeeding now. She tells too many personal details of our lives to people. That's fantastic. But she's so sweet. Like every guy has that <laughs> Richard, have you ever met Shundee before? You know? I have. Oh, good, good, good. Yeah, I've been so in Sean's world. Yeah, we did. Uh, that's what I was literally was about to say. Yeah. Oh. You, you, you. Oh, that's right. Oh I've my God. I've been telling everyone about that. Like, there's no way there's a beer that's the strongest beer in the world, right? Yeah. What beer? Yeah. It's what beer? something called like snake bite. I mean, we're snake bite. Oh, like oh yeah, from the back to the poker. Uh, Ace uh, high flop hits both Baden and Shaq. You're obviously you're a media critic. Can I? Should I call it a media critic, or should, is it, should I call it a, a movie critic? Everything. Okay, that's what. I, that's exactly where I was getting up to. So, are you a? Uh, are you like? Uh, let's talk about food. Let's talk about liquor. Let's talk about spirits. No, I'm not, I don't do that. I'll let you guys. Let the experts do that. But do, are you a, are you a good eater? Are you? Do you Dan like Shack now has two pair. Okay. He's living in Chicago. Seven. Some of the greatest restaurants. Oh, great restaurant. And Jamie Kerstetter now has another draw. Linea. And she's working. But all of them. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I appreciate it, but I know enough to know that I don't know that much. That's what I was wondering. Okay. Yeah, I just enjoy, I just enjoy it. Sort and of with, like this. And yeah. with, with alcohol? She hits it on the river. Are you, are you an wines. aficionado of wines? Wines. And, okay. yes. Kenny Bodden doesn't want to put any more money in this pot. She checks. Great. Tips for, like, good, good wines. Wines, actually, I'm, the best tip I'm going to give you for wine, and it's it, every, anyone at home should, like, try this. You, If you have a, you don't want to do this with, like, you know, a $300 bottle, but if you have a $85 bottle, and you want to make the wine open up, put it inside of a blender. Sounds crazy, right? Really? Trust me. I'll try that. Another really great trick. Always listen to him about everything. Add, add a tiny bit of salt. If the, if the, if the, oh, you're talking about the wine blender, yeah. I'm if, the blender, if the yeah. wine, it's, seriously. A raise from Kerstetter quickly gets rid of Dan Shack as we get wine tips from Stephen McLaughlin. And Sean Deeb is right. We should listen to everything he's saying. Here are the results as we wrap up day one. Richard Roper, you know, you're down 150 bucks. I'm guessing you're going to call the day a win with the kind of great players we have around this table. And James Woods made a couple of bad calls today, and he finds himself 10,000 short. But Jessica Dolly going to be our big winner for day one here at Golden Nugget Atlantic City with over a 15K profit. When we come back, it's poker night at the movies with Ebony Kenny, Richard Roper, and James Woods. Poker Night in America is being brought to you by 888poker.com, where the world plays online. Welcome back to Poker Night in America. Robert Redford and Paul Newman's chemistry was so undeniable in Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, it didn't take long for the duo to follow up with another Hollywood classic, 1973's The Sting. Now, the movie gets its title from that stinging moment when you realize somebody has conned you out of your money, something very familiar to those of us who know the losing side of a bluff. In tonight's scene, Paul Newman goes head to head with famous character actor Robert Shaw in a game of who can out cheat the cheater. This is Poker Night at the Movie. Mr. Clements, give me $10,000 more. First of all, I'm telling you, if I'm in the middle of the hand and I decide, hey, give me 10K, and it's, <laughs> it's not gonna play. Like, if I'm so sure about my hand that I'm gonna say, hey, give me some more money, 99.99999% of the time, the other players are gonna, on the table are gonna be like, no shot. Like, well, I'm not gonna give you. Well, this was the point zero 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 one time that they allowed Right, it. and he got egg in his face. <laughs> so, there's that. Th this is actually the moment in a script called the all is lost moment. In every screenplay, at some point, our hero gets to the point where there is no way he or she can, can find redemption unless the hand of God comes in or something that you don't expect that he or she finds within themselves that you don't see coming makes a difference. And in this case, of course, you notice that Robert Shaw, the villain in the scene, actually hid the deck in his napkin 
So the audience goes, oh, wow, we could switch a deck. So because if the threes, the trays, the four threes, all of a sudden become jacks, the audience go, I don't understand what happened, but because we showed a guy switching a deck, the audience goes, oh, you know what? I bet he switched the, the deck, too. The other guy too. did, too. Exactly. The, the audience, the audience, audience is being exactly taught. What happened. Well, the audience is also being the tutored, it, no. but they're being tutored by being told in the beginning when Robert Shaw, the villain, is like, don't worry, I got this covered. I got the phony deck in. Right. Now we're thinking, well, gee, how come Paul Newman beat him here? And then when the jacks appear, the first thing they're like, oh, oh he did the same thing, only better. If you're cheating, you can't call out the other guy for cheating, saying, but, 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 but we stacked the deck, you're supposed to have quad threes. Exactly. They can't do anything. And Paul Newman, he's not only playing a little bit of a dupe, he's, play, he's drunk. He's pretending he's drunk a little right. bit there, too. Right. And it's part of a longer con, if you see the movie. There's a whole other con that comes later on. I mean, as a scene, it's fantastic. All right, so let's rate this now on um, a poker hand scale. Ebony, we'll start with you. Uh, well, how do you rate this scene? Honestly, just because it got me, it totally got me. <laughs> when he turned over the four jacks, I was like, oh, I did not see that right. coming. Right. Okay, so I'm gonna give it a royal flush. All right, nice. Richard? You know, this is one of the cool things. James and I were like, look, we're looking at this kid. It's like, <laughs> it's great to see somebody experience a movie they've never seen before. Right. My friend Roger used to say, I envy people who haven't seen Citizen Kane yet, who haven't seen great movies yet the first time. Because they do it. hold up, especially because this was yeah, a period picture. It's such a joy to see yeah. someone experience it for right. the first time. It is. So I got to go the same way, Royal Flush. I mean, it's right. a great scene. James. Yeah, I say Royal Flush, but you know, because I'm so clever, I have to say, I give this four jacks. Ah! <laughs> Fantastic. Wow. And that wow, is jacks. our review Yay. of this. <laughs> here on Poker Night. For more from Poker Night, visit PokerNight.com or find us on Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube where you can see complete episodes and unedited live streams. Also, be sure to check out our online store for Poker Night shirts, hats, hoodies, and more. For everyone here at Poker Night in America, I'm Chris Hansen. Poker Night in America is brought to you by 888 Poker, where the world plays online, and by DraftKings.